to all Patreons and uh, channel members for uh, supporting me. Uh, I'll be releasing project files to my Patreons and uh, exclusive tutorials for uh, channel members. For details, please check link in description. Thank you. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel. So this is Mr. Viss. Uh, so I thought of starting a, a small uh, separate series on how to make a, a drone AI. Uh, so you guys uh, might have uh, seen my uh, videos on the drone AI. So this one. So you'll have a drone AI. Uh, that will patrol and once you see it will uh, start firing then it will flank on to the towards the sides when it's firing and When it is being hit it will retaliate to the back side So this will be a, a series of few videos. I think it should be I should be able to cover it within three to four videos so for uh, better uh, uh, compatibility or uh, what to say uh, to, to cover every audience I'll be using I'll be uh, creating the drone AI on uh, a third person template I'll not be using ALS for this so if guys who are following my uh, uh, TPS series if they want to integrate this drone AI uh, to that uh, to the ALS project at the end of uh, covering all the base uh, uh, drone AI stuff so I'll, I'll put in a separate video uh, covering how to integrate that with the uh, uh, third person template uh, only thing we need to do uh, uh, we might need to work on is uh, how to you know uh, uh, damage the character and uh, uh, when the weapon uh, hits the drone uh, what needs to be done so only those things uh, so let's start so I've downloaded the uh, drone mesh from Sketchfab. So I downloaded this drone mesh already. And what I did was with Blender, I uh, separated these propellers so that uh, we can make it rotate when the drone is flying. Then uh, uh, apart from that, uh, to show a, a burnt or a destroyed drone, I removed all the arms from, from this and had only the body of it and uh, I'm, I'm using a dark texture so that just to imitate that it's it's a burnt one. So it looks like drones models. Okay. So this is my uh, uh, drone body. So as you can see the propellers are not here. Then I have the propellers separate. And as I said, I have a burnt drone. So this is just the same thing with the black texture. So I'll, I'll give the link in uh, description to download these uh, drone files. So you should be able to start with it. Uh, but if you are using it on your game, please credit please credit the author uh, as required okay let's start then okay under drones I create, I'll create a new folder blueprint and here create a character and name it as BP drone base. So we need the movement component, so that's the reason we are creating it as a, a character class. So in this uh, under mesh, create a static mesh. So this will be our. Uh, base mesh where we will put our uh, drone body so select drone base body here so this is how it looks like so make sure uh, the front part is uh, towards the arrow and uh, we need to reduce the capsule capsule size we don't need this big so set this to 10 
okay the mesh move it a bit lower so that capsule is it in the center okay so before uh, uh, we continue further so open this uh, body mesh i've already created uh, the sockets uh, required so what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, 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 create the uh, sockets as we need uh, them to uh, uh, match our propeller uh, and our gun. So in the socket manager, uh, if, you, if, you're, if you're not able to find it here, uh, it will be under window socket manager to enable this and uh, click on uh, create a socket and add a name for instance prop 5 and uh, position it wherever you need. So this is my prop five. So like that, you 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 can create uh, four for propeller and one for the weapon, depending upon your your mesh. So my mesh has four propellers and uh, uh, one weapon. Uh, create it and uh, uh, set it in the position where you want. So. Can you can push in it in in the in the right places? Okay, so I have uh, four propellers and uh, one for weapon. So you need to create this. And uh, the next thing is uh, add uh, four uh, static mesh again. for the propeller so this has to be child of the base mesh rename to prop 1 and duplicate it with control D uh, my mesh has four propellers so I have four and one for the weapon so now we have the static mesh items created uh, we need to set the socket position so we have already created on the static mesh so assign it accordingly Okay, so now we have uh, things accordingly and now uh, assign the meshes uh, okay, I could have assigned it to the first item and then duplicated still Okay, so now we have the propellers added Okay, for the weapon, uh, we don't need a static mesh here, but if you have a static mesh, you can add it here. Okay, uh, next thing we need is we need to create an uh, AI controller uh, for the drone. So, uh, create a new folder here. And uh, create an AI controller. Okay. Then uh, we need a blackboard behavior tree and a blackboard. So bt underscore drone ai then blackboard bb drone ai okay now we have to uh, link all these so go to the drone bp and uh, search for ai and here select our uh, drone ai controller now uh, open the 
after that open the drone AI controller now here on the event graph on begin play run behavior tree here select our drones behavior tree okay I think we have created all the required uh, uh, initial required files uh, I'll try to keep the tutorials as short as possible so that it will be easy for you to follow along. Uh, so I'll stop here and we will continue further in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.